Hi Aries, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So welcome Aries, hope everyone is doing well. We're going to take a little look at a little bit of love, life, and advice for you for the month of February. So maybe if something didn't resonate for you in your monthly readings, maybe something here will. That's my intention with the bonus readings. So let's see what's going on with you Aries at this time. And I like to call it love, life, and advice. And I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links below are in the description box for your love and general readings, um, those playlists, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading if you'd like to tip or donate. All that information is below. And I'll also pin some of that to the top comment. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Male, female, doesn't matter who's watching this. Only take what resonates. Don't try to make it fit if it's not your um, message. So let's see what's going on with Aries at this time in love. Aries at this time. What's going on with you, Aries, at this time in love? Spirit, please. Thank you so much for Aries. Okay. So we have the stars here. So it could be wishes and dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. We have the six of cups on the bottom. So this could have to do with a soulmate, someone you've known um, maybe for a long time or since childhood, uh, past lives together perhaps. We have 16, which is seven, which is, to me is a very divinely guided spiritual energy. I'm going to read just a little snippet in the book about these cards. So on the bottom here, we have um, the pathways here. I'm not sure the name of this card, but we have the Queen of Pentacles, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in the bottom here. So this, you know, that's about stability, um, growth, abundance kind of energy, practicality. But we have 22, double number there, 22 about partnership and unity. So let's see what the stars have to say. And I opened it right to the stars. Shiny sparkles, guidance and healing is what I promise through a gentle feeling. I am reassurance, inspiration, and a new path for your exploration. Wish upon a star, for I bring hope and light from afar. So <coughs> that's a good energy. So let's see what that one is called choice right here. And it says decisions and choices are what I offer. Alternative directions are what I aguar. I speak in multiple and double. And when I'm in a relationship, I might be trouble. Hmm. But I'm not seeing trouble because we have the star right next to it. So I'm feeling like somebody needs to make a decision here on what is stable for them, what would be a wise decision, a practical decision, what would be a grounded, stable energy for them. And it's divinely guided energy here, wishes and dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism. With the star so keeping you know, you know that faith hope and optimism alive kind of energy so let's see let's take we're going to clarify all these energies with the tarot after i pull your oracles here so let's see for life what do we have for life for you for aries just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers those who have reached out for personal reading those who have tipped or donated or sent a gift Thank you, thank you so much. All your um, support really doesn't mean a lot to me in the channel. So thank you, thank you so much. So Aries, what do we have for Aries? And we have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio in some way, shape, or form. Needing to work through some sort of fears here. And then we have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So we have Aquarius and Scorpio coming here. And we are in uh, Aquarius season right now, I believe. Yeah, which may be coming to an end very shortly. Um, well, I think a few more days. But if Scorpio or Aquarius means anything to anybody here, somebody may have a fear about a love situation here. All right, so let's see what your advice is, Aries. What's your advice, Aries, 
at this time. I do ask Aries, especially if you're new, you like my style, my energy, how I read. Feel free to check out my channel if you like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read um, the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. You get about five readings a month. You get two loves, two generals, and a bonus. So let's see. Feeling this one for Aries. Patience. So need a patience with yourself, those around you, your future. And we have two, which is the unity again. So we have a lot of twos here. Two, two there, and two here. So needing patience in a situation. And abundance. Double number. A lot of double numbers. We have 22, and now we have 88. And 8 is the number of travel, action, communication. So <clears throat> someone's needing patience here, but abundance is coming in. Is coming in. And that orange color reminds me of the, uh, I believe it's the sacral chakra, which is very passionate, fiery energy. All right, so, but abundance is coming. Just need patience. All right, let's clarify all this energy for this bonus reading for Aries, please. Thank you so much. All right, so what is this choice in the stars about? Somebody may be divinely, being divinely guide, guided and led to, right, to make the right decision. Oh, well, we have Capricorn with devil energy. Oh, and then we have death. Wow. Scorpio. But then we have the two of cups, soulmate union. All right, so let's get a few more. So I feel so far somebody may be ending a toxic situation making a conscious choice to do that, to end some sort of toxic connection, relationship, situation, or toxic ways of behavior, putting an end to that, transforming. And now it's like they're moving away from the devil and moving into a union of a soulmate energy with the Two of Cups, especially with the Six of Cups right there. Definitely soulmate energy. Wow, okay. So what else here? Yep, balance. Equal give and take now. High Priestess, so might have been quiet for a while here. Not really saying much, keeping to themselves. Uh, but listening to the gut and intuition here. And consciously making the right choice for them. What will bring them the pentacle energy, balance, and um, security, and um, abundance. Grounded energy. And it's with the soulmate, which could be you, Aries. Now wanting to work together, work it out. Three of Pentacles energy, teamwork, collaboration, being practical and smart and analytical, making wise decisions, working on it together slowly for the future, for the long term. Pentacles are long term. As we have the Queen of Pentacles there. So that's Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. And then we have Pisces. And we have Scorpio, Capricorn again. So... I definitely feel like here somebody is being divinely led to their soulmate after leaving a toxic situation and now having balance into a connection after a period of being maybe no communication for a while here and now working together, uh, working on this together for the future. Nice. Okay. So what is this work through your fears? and bring love into the situation. We have the Five of Pentacles, so fear of being left out in the cold, abandoned kind of energy. Feeling like the wounded warrior, been through a battle, a struggle, and a fight, but you know, you can get up and keep fighting if you have to. Page of Cups, so it could be apologies, loving communication of some kind, love offer, So that's bringing the love into the situation here with the love offer or apologies or peaceful communication. All right, so what else is going on here? Yeah, stress, fear, worry, anxiety. But manifesting a brand new beginning here of some kind. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then we have um, Gemini and Virgo with the Magician. And now we have Ace of Wands. So manifesting a brand new beginning here. 
something very exciting, passionate, fiery. Could be um, an endeavor. It could be a project. It could be a hobby. It could be a new love interest. It could be a new job. Something very exciting. Somebody, I feel like, may have had a fear of losing out on something that you were fighting for. And then all of a sudden it comes in. And now feeling more at peace. You were very stressed about it. But now this offer comes in. Whatever the offer was for you. Whether it was a new job, a raise, a promotion, a love offer, or something here. And now you're able to manifest this very fiery, passionate, brand new beginning. It's very exciting. Having a lot of passion going forward. It's divinely handed to you from above so okay maybe happening now maybe you know something happened in the Scorpio season which was um, November into no end of October into November you know maybe you applied for something and you aren't hearing anything and now all of a sudden it's Aquarius season a few months later and all of a sudden now you're hearing something and it's going in your favor, whatever that is for you. So now we have patience and abundance. So I feel like your patience in the situation, even though you had stress and you felt like all beat up and like, oh, I fight it for this, fight it for this and worried that you weren't going to get it, that you were going to be left out. But then it, all of a sudden it just came in. So what do we have here? Yep, the Hierophant. So some, it could be marriage, commitment. Or your patient was patience and being dedicated to this moving forward was tested. The Hierophant energy there is all about faith, religion, morals, values, structure, marriage, commitment. All right, so what else here? In the moon. Yeah, you didn't see you were patient through this. It tested your patience because you couldn't see what was happening. You didn't know what was going to happen. Um, you couldn't see the path clearly path you wanted to go down you weren't sure you know if the sun was going to shine on the path and uh you felt kind of you know disillusioned maybe on the whole situation queen of wands fire leo sagittarius so now feeling it's your energy so feeling male female doesn't matter now feeling fiery and patient um fiery and abundant and go-getter going after it now because you were patient and now you have this new beginning. So now you can work on your abundance coming in, moving forward. Five of Swords. So that's kind of like, do I just give up or do I keep fighting on? You know, should I do what I need to do? Or what here? Should I walk away? Should I give up? But no, balance comes in, Sagittarius energy here. Balance comes in, healing, faith, hope, optimism, and patience. That is the card of patience. So your patience was tested, and I felt like at, feel like at times you felt like maybe, okay, if I do this or that, it'll go in my favor. But then, you know, five of swords can be like that ego kind of energy, like I got to do what I got to do no matter what. So I think at times you felt like, okay, I'm going to do what I have to do. But then at times you felt like, ah, oh, I'm just going to give up and walk away. You know, being disillusioned in the moon energy, like, I don't know what to do here. But you stay committed. You had patience. You waited it out. All of a sudden, it came into you. And now here's the patience, the healing, the balance energy coming in for you. So, <clears throat> and again, it could have been a love offer, a job, both. It could be anything. Whatever you were waiting for is finally coming into you. So on the bottom, yeah, you thought it was over and done. But then you got your Ten of Cups, total happiness, joy, and fulfillment in every single way. There could have been a conflict, competition, but now you're going into a much better place, to more calmer waters, peaceful, balanced place, to wish fulfillment, wishes and dreams coming true, fulfillment in every way. Again, here's the Seven of Swords, so... Kind of indecisive, undecided. Do I need to just get away from this situation? Just leave it behind? Sneak away? Into hermit mode? And try to figure this out? But then all of a sudden, here's the offer coming in. 
So again, it could be a proposal, it could be a commitment, it could be a job, something coming in here that you waited for in hermit mode, deciding should I just sneak away from this and just forget it all together, you know, being indecisive, not knowing what to do, but bam, wishes and dreams coming true, happiness, going into a much better place, over the conflict and competition, which you thought was my wish was never going to come. Maybe it's done, but then all of a sudden it does come in with the Ten of Cups and feeling happy and content in every single way. Wow, Aries. Okay, Aries, best of luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And what other um, signs do we have under here? Uh, Virgo. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So those are the other signs I see. Okay, uh, Aries, send you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.